Okay, let's see what it's gonna take to apply a couple of decals to, is it decals or decals? Let's see what it's gonna take to apply a couple stickers to this lovely red gas tank from a 1979 DT400 Yamaha. Lovely little bike, it's a great little two-stroker. Like any job, there's more than a few different ways you can tackle it. <laughs> that just cracks me up every time. That one's for you, Kane. Now, when you're applying any sort of decals, typically you're gonna be doing it one of two ways. You're either gonna do it dry, so it's just peel and stick, and hope you get it right. Or you're gonna use some sort of lubricant, some sort of thing like soapy water, maybe Windex, uh, some concoction like that. It allows you to slip it around and it's just a little more forgiving. If you've got a smaller decal, you can get away with doing it uh, dry. Just make sure you get it right the first time because you're not gonna get any second chances. Now with larger decals, something like this, you're gonna wanna use some sort of soapy water on there. One of the main reasons is because you're dealing with curved surfaces. And in this case, you got compound surfaces. So there's a vertical curve here and there's actually a horizontal curve. So you definitely need to use some sort of soapy water or soapy solution. So it'll give you the best chance of flattening out any wrinkles and forming it around those curves. You'll be glad you did. Anyway, that's enough yapping about how to do it. Let's actually see how to do it. All right, how hard can it be? We're gonna find out. Okay, first up, may as well get this thing as clean as we can. Hot soapy water gets most of the grime off and then finish it up with isopropyl alcohol. That stuff will wipe away the last remaining hints of my grimy fingerprints. Now we gotta land this decal, find the right spot to put it in. I wasn't smart enough to take any measurements at first, so now I gotta go off of a picture. Yeah, I got it pretty close. I mean, using a set of calipers and an old cloth measuring tape, I got it pretty close. Now with this method here, I'm gonna do the decal in two halves. They call it the hinge method. So you kind of run a strip down the middle of this thing and then do it in two pieces. We're gonna pull off the backer on the first half now this is the easy section of the tank, the more flattened part, so it should be pretty easy to do. Now I've made my own lubrication here, just with some distilled water, four drops of dish soap, a dollar store spray bottle, good to go. So now you just lube that up, spritz the sticker and the tank, and then lay it in place. Now the key here is to uh, be gentle. Oh, I use these spreaders. You can use a credit card, but the, these are Bondo spreaders uh, for body work. They work great. The key here is to push any air bubbles and excess water from the middle of the decal to the outer edge. That's important. Okay, now we're going for the tough section. This is the curved part. So you got two compound surfaces. Same thing here, just pull off the decal uh, backer, spray it down. Okay, now on this section, it's a little tougher. You got these compound curves. I'm gonna start using my fingers a little more and get a feel for the decal. It's important to keep it Fairly wet, and same idea now, just push from the middle to the outer edge, get rid of those air bubbles as you approach this curve. But now, you need to start applying a little bit of heat and feel the decal with your hands. You're gonna try and finesse this thing into place. It's about massaging that vinyl and kind of working it into the curves of that tank. It's, it really is a finesse thing. So just take your time, smooth it all down, and get all those air bubbles out. And then when you take the backer off, Pull it sideways, not up. You don't want to lift the decal off. So pull it sideways so that angle of attack doesn't promote lifting the decal. And there you go. It looks pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. That thing looks really good. Super, super happy with that. Okay, sticking a decal on a motorcycle tank isn't exactly rocket science. But to get it right and wrinkle free, especially on compound curved surfaces, it does take a little patience and persistence. A little luck too. Especially if you want to land that thing struggle free. And if you want to learn how to land a tire on a rim struggle free, check out this video right here. You may be glad you did. All right, I got stuff to do. See ya.